ladies and gentlemen, this is your girl Nyasia Nache coming to you guys once again with a four week update on the Sensational Goddess Select Remy that I have installed in my hair now. Um, I'm just going to give you guys the pros and the cons of this hair. Uh, I'm just going to say it out and then I'll go back and talk about it. But before I start, I wanted to say in that last video, I was so frustrated with this hair that I forgot to tell you guys the pros about the hair. So that's what I'm going to tell you in this video. And then I'll give you my thoughts on the hair. Um, the pros is it's minimal shedding. If I run my fingers through my hair, I'll get about... I didn't get anything that time. And I'm pulling hard, so one strand. So I don't get that much shedding. Um, the hair was very inexpensive. Only paid $85 for a 12 and a 14 inch in the color number 1B. That's very good for some Remy hair. <laughs> you guys already know Remy hair is not really that cheap. So that's very good. It holds a curl very well. After I washed the hair and blow dried the hair, I put the hair in flexi rods and I let it sit and wore the hair curly for one day. The reason why I'm not still wearing it curly, I went back and flat ironed it the same day, is because the way that I have my hair installed, it's not really layered. So I don't like the way that it was looking on my face. It made me look like Squidward, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So, what else can I say? Um, and, excuse me if I'm looking down. I wrote everything down because I get sidetracked. So I'm just looking at my notes that I wrote down for myself. The hair is not shiny it doesn't have a fake look to it so that's a good thing it it's thick in texture and it blends well with natural hair and i don't get perms if i was to leave the top of my hair out then it will blend perfect with this hair so that's uh that's a super plus with me so like i said out in the other video i wouldn't buy the hair again but i think because that it blends well with natural hair i changed my mind Right? I'm telling you guys, I changed my mind. I would buy this hair again for that purpose. So, um, after you wash the hair, it returns back to normal state. Like how it comes in the first package, which is a plus for me. Because if all I got to do is wash my hair, then it'll last longer. It That's awesome to me. Just wash, blow dry it, and then maybe flat iron it to get the hair bone straight that's nothing for me the cons on the hair is the hair will tangle if it's not properly cared for i learned after i washed my hair i changed the way that i took care of the hair before what i was doing was put my hair in a bun and putting it in the bonnet and tying it down i think that was one of the reasons why i got so much tangling because i noticed when i take my hair down in the morning and go to comb it that's when i would get the most tangles what I do now is put my hair in a bun, tie a scarf around it tightly, then put my bonnet on. Um, in the morning when I take my hair down, I just comb it. Sometimes I don't even got to comb it. Maybe I just shake my hair out like this, keep it moving. It looks like this all day. It looks pretty, so, you know, it looks nice. And it looks natural, and it has a nice luster to it, so that's good. Another kind is... It's gonna shake. It's gonna shed when it's tangled. Um, that's what all hair. Anytime you have any type of tangling, it's gonna be shedding involved. A con is, which may be crucial for some people, if you don't properly care for the hair, it's gonna be a little bit high maintenance. Which most people want weaves that they can just put in their hair and keep going. If you take care of it right at night before you go to sleep, it'll be okay for the next day. That's what I learned about the hair. And like I said, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I said it, but I have a love-hate relationship with this hair. Before I was hating this hair and I was just so ready to take it out. But I'm glad that I kept the hair because it has showed signs of improvement. And I'm not saying that the hair was completely bad because now that I look back, it might have been something that I was doing with the way I was taking care of it before I went to sleep. And some days I wouldn't even like, comb the hair for like two or three days at a time i'll just leave it in my bonnet and then try to comb it down and wear it so maybe that's one of the reasons why it was so messed up in the other video but 
I would recommend this hair to you guys. And if you want to do a quick weave with this hair, I would recommend it solely for that purpose. If you're not going to keep it in for that long. And you can do whatever to the hair. It'll last that way. But if you're going to sew it in, it's going to be a little bit high maintenance. That's what I would say to you guys. If you have any questions or if you feel like I left anything out, you guys can leave a comment. I would greatly appreciate it if you like this video, um, if you subscribe to my page because I will have other videos in the future. And I'm trying to start my own hairline. I found some Malaysian, virgin Malaysian curly hair um, from a vendor and I did research on the vendor and the vendor is very awesome. I heard nothing but good reviews on the hair. So I'm going to order that hair and test it out on myself. And if I like the hair, I'm going to give a, do a giveaway on the hair. And then see how that person likes the hair. And if it's great hair, like everybody been raving about it, then I'm going to go ahead and start my own hairline. So you guys can look forward to that in the near future from me. Alright, um, I think that's all. So I'm not going to ramble on too much more. Please rate, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll comment back very quick. It comes straight to my phone, so don't be afraid to ask any questions. I'm not mean. I don't bite. So you guys can always... Drop me a little letter in my inbox or in my comments. So, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching YouTube.